So today I want to share with you a uh, little device of Charlie Parker. Uh, and um, this is a really cool one because he um, is basically doing, playing the same thing and just changing one note and it really makes um, the chords sound different and uh, you know as the chords are moving. Uh, anyway, so and then I want to show you how you can make this, make a little pattern like this your own, um, or you know, put your spin on it. So um, let's talk about what he's doing first of all. We've got a uh, G major seven chord. Um, we got one, five, three, and one here, and then we've got uh, five, one, three, and five. And it's just right up and down the, you know, right up and down the chord. Uh, know that anyway. <laughs> so this is, this is really a good thing to practice. Um, and then we've got A minor D7, and so he's, we've got flat 7, uh, flat 13, um, to uh, 9, to flat 7, to flat 9, to 11. <clears throat> to 13 to flat 9. Pretty hip sounding, I think. Um, so, you know, then he's going, so here's this bar right here. So let's listen to both of them. Uh, okay, so, oops. Um, so where do I want to go with this? Um, you can make it your own. Well, first of all, let's just, you know, say that uh, we've got, really, there's only one note that's different here, and that's just this D, which just goes up a half step to the C flat. And then, look, you get to play all these, like, really nice extensions in here, you know, over these chords. <laughs> 